what do you say? Who says the other? So why don't you stay and watch him vlogging before you go into the embassy for your big oh! deals with the money bags inside. You got money in those bags? Why don't you stay here and watch a little vlogging? See the company, the country that you're doing business with. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Thank you very much. Yes, this is mine. Very straight, little curve. Yes, very good. Okay. I am Mohammed bin Naif. Ana Mohammed bin Naif. Ana Dash. Again, I'm sorry. Say it again. Ana Mohammed bin Naif. Ana Dash. Sorry. Oh, no. No This is how we do it. This is how we do it. No vlogging. No vlogging. This is how we do it. No This is how we do it. Free Ray Fadawi. Free Ray Fadawi. Free Ray Fadawi. I have something. Free Ray Fadawi. I have something. I have something I want to say to the people of Saudi Arabia. So this is how. We portray you in the United States. We show you with so much respect. Look, this is what we show. Eh? This is what we think of vlogging the vlogging or vlogging the vlogging. Either one. Woohoo! Free Right Badawi! Free Right Badawi! Free Right Badawi! Free Right Badawi! No vlogging! 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 Free ride Badawi! 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 Fat chimp! I have Barack Obama in my back pocket. One of these two back pockets. We don't have Calabria with back pocket. Someone is going to lose their head. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce Ali Al Ahmed from the Gulf Institute, who's going to say a few words. I'll continue. I'll continue the flogging, if you don't mind. So much fun. Thank you for coming. Uh, we're here to uh, reenact typical flogging that happens in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Usually, this Vloggings are for political opponents, but also for criminal defendants. They are taking, they take uh, place outside, usually on Fridays after Friday prayers, and uh, inside prisons. Every day, Saudi Arabia flogs approximately two to three thousand people. So this is the representation. What you saw, what you hear about Raif Badawi's case is only one case, but typically every single day. 3,000 people are flogged inside and outside prisons for many accusations, mostly political accusations. It is really to destroy the psychology of the individual because beating somebody is one of the worst things you can do. Uh, there are 30,000 political prisoners in my country arrested and tried in, in kangaroo courts by the government of Saudi Arabia, by the monarchy. Who handles this? A process of torture, murder, and oppression. A guy by the name of Muhammad bin Naif. We call him Dahish. His name is Dahish. Muhammad bin Naif is Dahish. Everybody should refer to him as Dahish because he is the person responsible for murder, torture, and abuse of women, of women drivers like Lujain and Maysa Al Amudi who have been arrested and terrorism charges because they drove a car. Most of the people who are arrested in Saudi Arabia and accused of terrorism, they, they are guilty of one thing. They express their opinion, they fight for human rights, democracy, and for the religious freedom that they think is appropriate. So you are really witnessing a situation where we have the kingdom of oppression, the kingdom of torture. Dahish bin Naif is the prince of torture. And it was a shame that on December 8th, Mr. John Kerry received Dahish bin Naif on the International Human Rights Day. So, and he also met with Obama and other U.S. officials. That was a sad day, a very dark day in the United States history when you welcome a torturer, as somebody who supports terrorism against the United States and abuses women and children and uh, 
practices daily beheadings right now. Just like ISIS is doing in Syria and Iraq, beheading people, this is what the Saudi Minister of the Interior is overseeing. He is beheading people every day, like we saw yesterday of a woman that was beheaded in the middle of the street. You cannot kill a chicken in Washington, D.C. on the street. But in Saudi Arabia, you murder people in the street. Who does that? The government of Saudi Arabia, the Minister of the Interior, Mohammed bin Naif, a.k.a. Daesh. Please tweet about it, send it on your Facebook, tell everybody about it, and we will do this again. We will do this again next to the State Department, next to the White House, and other places in Washington so you can see the brutality of the Saudi monarchy. Thank you. That is if uh, my friend can stand it long enough. <laughs> and by the way, when he mentioned woman and beating, I kind of got chillies up my back. This is the kind of Mohammed bin Naif I am. So not only these women drivers, bloggers, people who write Twitter uh, statements and Twitters, just for saying one thing, I worked in the case of a man who said one word, one word, 20 years in prison, he was sentenced to death, one word, got him in jail for 20 years with torture, many, many years in solitary confinement. The Saudi monarchy wants to terrorize our people does not give them anything. No freedom of the press, no freedom of religion, no freedom of expression, no free press, no human rights organizations, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's a totally absolute monarchy that has no place, that does not allow a place for anyone but itself. A corrupt monarchy that is supported by the West and that support should stop. That support should stop. And you Americans, you can ask your government to stop that support. I'm wondering if the New York Yankees could t talk to me about my swing. I I'm wondering, is it a little too, a little too to the left? I don't know. How about New York Philharmonic? I can do this all day long if you want. It's so wonderful.